Hello there and welcome to Science Everywhere. In this video, we are going to talk about Bayes' theorem which was given by Thomas Bayes. It is a way to find out conditional probability and is primarily used in statistics to determine the likelihood of an event occurring based on some prior knowledge relating to the event. For example, if having grey hair is associated with age, then information about a person's age can help us more accurately determine the probability of the person having grey hair. It is mathematically given by the probability of a hypothesis H being true given a certain evidence E that is probability of H given E is equal to the conditional probability of E given H times the probability of H divided by the probability of the evidence actually occurring that is probability of E. Sounds intimidating. Let me give you an example by introducing you to the counterintuitive results that Bayes theorem produces. Assume you find out that you are having symptoms for a disease that happens to only 5 in 1000 people. So you decide to take a medical test for that disease and your doctor tells you that this test is proven to give 90% accurate results. Accurate enough. The test results come out and you tested positive for that disease. So here's a question. What do you think is the probability of you having the disease if the test gave you a positive result? The intuitive answer to this is that the probability of you having the disease after testing positive is 90% because the test is 90% accurate. But this is wrong. Let's plug these values into Bayes' theorem and see what the actual probability is. This is a set of 1000 people. Our prior probability is that 5 out of these 1000 people will get the disease. This circle represents those 5 people. Now, as the test is 90% accurate, 90% 90 of these 5 people will test positive for the disease. But the test is also 10% inaccurate, hence 10% of the remaining people without the disease will also be falsely tested positive. As you can clearly see, the set of people falsely being identified to have the disease is much larger than the people who actually have the disease. By Bayes' theorem, the probability that you have the disease given that you tested positive is equal to the probability of the test giving positive results if you have the disease times the prior probability of you having the disease divided by the probability of testing positive. The probability of testing positive is essentially a combination of the probability of you having the disease and testing positive plus the probability of you not having the disease but being falsely identified. Plugging in all the numbers, we get the probability of you having the disease given that you tested positive as 4.3%. Yes, a lot less than what you intuitively thought would be a 90% chance of you having the disease. Thank Bayes' theorem. Bayes' theorem is used in various fields like medical testing as we just saw to testing whether an outcome is more likely in a universe with 11 dimensions or in one with 26. Modern spam filters also work on Bayes' theorem to detect spam email. The probability that an email is spam if it has certain words like say lottery or win is equal to the probability of the words being contained in a pre-identified spam email times the probability of the email being spam divided by the probability of the words being used randomly in any email. This approach along with various other intelligent algorithms run to detect if an email is spam or not. In finance, Bayes' theorem can be used to calculate the risk of lending money to potential borrowers. Due to such wide applications, it is acknowledged that Bayes' theorem is to statistics what Pythagoras' theorem is to geometry. So that's it for today guys, I suggest you watch this video twice to get a complete grasp of the topic. There are some links to videos down there in the description relating to this topic. Thanks for watching, if you learned something new, then give this video a like, share the knowledge and subscribe for some more awesome science. And um, also if you're still here, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, links in the description as always. Thanks guys.